Hey everyone, how are you? Happy Sunday. My name is Kimberly Stover. I'm a Pampered Chef consultant on Team Believe. And welcome to our cooking demonstration for chili and cornbread. Um, today's chili is going to be featuring the new Pampered Chef Chili Mix seasoning. So I'm simply going to follow the directions on the chili mix pouch. And then later um, I'll be doing a sour cream cornbread by Trisha Yearwood. So we'll do the chili. I'm gonna do it in a slow cooker. So I'm going to do that. We'll let it slow cook and then I'll come back and feature the cornbread. So we are going to do this in the Pampered Chef Quick Cooker. Um, this is Pampered Chef's all-in-one pressure cooker and slow cooker. So I'm gonna feature that we can saute and do any pre-cook items right in the quick cooker and then just switch it over to a slow cooker and have our chili cook. So let's get started. I've got some onions. Pre-chunked, pre-cut up in larger chunks. Going to do that in our manual food processor. So I'm just gonna put those chunks in our manual food processor. Whoops, throwing the onions around. Okay, now it's going. probably enough onion for our chili. So that was, um, I'll say medium, might have been a little on the large side, um, but medium size onion. I'm gonna wash, rinse the top of our manual food processor, just rinse the top of that. And now, I'm just gonna open the top of our quick cooker. I'm putting it on sear. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil because what we're gonna do is saute our onions. Typically when I make chili, I would be adding um, some other spices or seasonings at this point. Certainly if you wanna do salt and pepper, but since I'm gonna use the chili seasoning packet, that should have all of our seasonings we need. Okay, so I've already got our manual food processor rinsed. Um, so other than throwing the plastic container bit in the dishwasher and this as well, the blade, it is clean for our purposes. And while I'm still waiting for that to heat, I'm gonna get a little baggie for our leftover onion. And have that for another day, another recipe. Okay, so I have a, the spatulas or, you know, any of our great utensils for cooking because I just don't like dishes and clean up. I try to limit um, what tools I use down to as few as possible. So even if they're not the perfect tool, if they will do the job, I'm going to use it if it lets me use just one tool for the whole process. That's the case, I've got our mix and stir, which is gonna be perfect for when we are doing our ground beef. But for now, I'm gonna use it to stir our onions. Hopefully you can hear those sizzling right up. Now certainly, depending on your preference, if you just wanna put the onions in your chili raw, um, you can certainly do that. No need to pre-cook them if you don't want. I'm gonna let those cook just a minute. 
but I'll come back to you. One thing I wanted to point out, and at first I was very hesitant to do demos because of this, but I have an extremely small kitchen. Um, I'll give you a brief tour. <laughs> so we'll start right there. Goes by me, you can see the oven, little counter, and then the fridge. We're gonna zip right across the fridge to right here and then down in front of me. So as you can see, it's extremely small. Um, that combined with just not liking the chore of cleaning up. Um, a lot of times my kitchen, uh, the counters are not free of space um, all the time. And um, it's, I'm very limited with the workspace I have available. So I share that because part of the reason I especially like the quick cooker and then I'll do the cornbread later in the air fryer is because they are all-in-one multi-purpose tools. So for example, with the quick cooker, I have both a pressure cooker and a slow cooker. And then of course with my air fryer, I just call it my little easy bake oven for adults. It's essentially a countertop oven. Um, it's not just an air fryer and I use it for anything I would normally use my oven for. I do in my air fryer right on my countertop. So. Um, very limited counter space. My air fryer is typically what stays on my countertop. And then my quick cooker, I keep on that little cart right there, which is right next to my kitchen. So our onions are done enough for right now or to get us started. So now I'm gonna add, add the ground beef. I just add it straight out of the package. And then we're gonna use this mix and chop just to do exactly that. Mix, chop it and mix it. And we just wanna get the ground beef mostly cooked because obviously it is gonna cook um, it, while it does the slow cooker cooking. I like my ground beef really kind of finely chopped for any type of recipe. Um, I have family members who prefer items really chunky, so um, you do this, obviously, to your desired preference. But the mix and chop is gonna be a good tool for whichever that preference is. For my liking, I'm just going to let it cook a little bit. Okay, so our meat's not fully cooked, but I don't need it fully cooked. I just need it cooked enough. And so we are going to go ahead and switch our um, quick cooker over to slow cooker mode. Slow cook. Um, it defaults to four hours. You could set the time up or down from that. Four hours is what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my start button. Let me get my can opener. I didn't even have to leave the video picture because my, my kitchen's so small, I just had to turn around and open the drawer. Okay. One thing you get with me is I just kind of, I say cook on the fly. I follow the recipe, but I realize I don't have things, ingredients that I thought I had. And so our tomatoes are one of those. When I made my shopping list, I knew I had diced tomatoes in my pantry. And when I was pulling out ingredients today, I was right. I had diced tomatoes in my pantry, but only half the amount I needed for the chili. So I'm using crushed tomatoes. Um, that will probably make our um, chili a little more liquidy than I would normally have it, but the taste will be wonderful. And now I'm opening up a can of black beans. I'm going to strain them really quick. I guess that is the benefit of a small kitchen. Everything is within reach.
I'm more of a black bean fan than I am kidney beans and other kind of beans, so that's what I use in my chili. Obviously, you use whatever you like. Okay, so now I'm just gonna give that a good stir. I'm gonna hold the inner pot so it doesn't flip around. Again, I'm using the mix and chop, but we do have spoons and other utensils that would work well. I just don't want to dirty up. And now we go with our secret ingredients. Not secret, the ingredients are on the back. Um, but the chili mix. My hands are wet. There we go. Oh, it smells delicious. Yeah. Good chili flavor, I can smell. And then certainly anything else you wanna add to your chili. If you wanna put green peppers, jalapenos, I encourage fresh jalapenos if possible. Um, mushrooms, anything, just however you wanna make it. It's all in that seasoning and flavor. And that, my friends, is how we make our chili. Let me get the lid. So this is gonna slow cook for four hours. Right before that's done, I'll come back and do the cornbread. So I'll see you shortly.